Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video I'm going to show you the recent update that I did to my Kubernetes repository. Um, so I made changes to the Vagrant provisioning script. So the last, uh, for those of you who have been using my Vagrant provisioning from my Kubernetes repository, you would have noticed that the version of Kubernetes that I've been using is version 1.22. Although version 1.24 is out, I haven't changed any of the uh, any of the version details in my Kubernetes repository, uh, but I just updated it recently. So this video is all about showing you guys what I've changed uh, in my Kubernetes repository, especially um, for the Vagrant provisioning scripts and uh, show you just how it actually works and things like that. So let me open up my Kubernetes repository. GitHub just me an open source Kubernetes and if I go to the pull requests I know I've got huge number of pull requests I'm sure I will definitely go through this at some point uh, but for this video I'm going to focus on this the, the top one that I created so this change is about switching to Ubuntu 2204 so so far I've been using Ubuntu 2004 but since Ubuntu 2204 has been out for like three months I thought it would be a good time to stop using Ubuntu 2204 and probably stick with it for another couple of years. Um, and the latest version of Kubernetes is Kubernetes 1.24. So those are the two changes. Um, I've also done some cleanup and some tidying up of the Vagrant file itself, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but let me open up this pull request. And if I show you the files change, so straight away you can notice this Vagrant file which I've updated. So instead of hard coding the, the virtual machine box version and everything twice. So you can see here, VM box is generic Ubuntu 2004 and the box version is 3.3.0. Uh, again, I'm using the same set of details for the, the worker nodes as well. Um, so I've just node all these things to a variable and declare, define this at the top of the script. So it makes life a little bit easier. So all the future changes, I just need to change it in one place. So less error. And you can see now I'm using uh, this uh, from the same provider, but it's Ubuntu 2204 and the Vagrant box version is 4.0.2. But otherwise, everything else is the same in this Vagrant file. Okay, and the next set of changes that I did is to the bootstrap.shell script. And in here, you can see it's just um, addition of a couple of things. So one is straight away changing the Kubernetes version, kubeadm, kubelet, kubectl from 1.22 to 1.24. So that's obvious. And apart from that, so since uh, I'm using container D, um, since version 1.24, without this change, um, you know, you need to change the C group driver to system D. Otherwise, by default, I think it will be C group EFS or something else. By default, the container D's configuration uses it doesn't use the system D configuration, but the C group FS configuration and the kubeadm installation, sorry, kubeadm initialization automatically assumes that you will be using system D as the C group driver. So you need to configure container D uh, to use system D as the C group driver. So I had to scratch my head for a while um, until I figured this out. So I've changed everything, um, but I didn't know about the system D C group driver and the kubelet wasn't coming up. Um, Kubernetes cluster wasn't up and uh, I saw all sorts of problems. Um, until I um, found the solution. So just change the container D configuration to use system D as the C group driver. That's it. That's all you need. Okay, so that's about it. Um, I'm going to show you now. Um, let's let's use this Vagrant provisioning scripts to bring up our Kubernetes cluster. So as you might know, I personally use KVM liver thing, uh, but I know most of you guys use VirtualBox for portability. And um, so I know you guys might be using Windows, Mac or, or Linux one. Um, so it's it will be useful to show VirtualBox uh, first and then I'll show you because I personally use uh, libvirt KVM because my host is a Linux machine I stick with uh, kernel based virtualization okay so let me switch back to my terminal here so you can see I'm already in my Kubernetes repository which I've uh, git cloned okay so I'm going to switch to Version bump Kubernetes 1.24 Ubuntu 22.04 branch. Git checkout. Okay, I'm in that branch. Let's do an ls and cd to vagrant provisioning. Vbox manage list VMs. Let me 
see if I've got any other VMs running currently no nope. so it's all clean now right so I'm inside the Vagrant provisioning folder directory and I've got all these scripts Vagrant files so let me also show you Vagrant box list okay so you can already see I'm, uh, I've already downloaded Ubuntu 2204 uh, for both libvirt provider and virtual box provider and the box version is 4.0.2 because before recording this video I ran the Vagrant up once uh, just to um, speed up a little bit right so we could do vagrant up now so that's going to bring up three virtual machines k master k worker one and k worker two so i think it usually takes about six to seven minutes although um, if i used libvirt as the provider it will be a couple minutes quicker than the virtual box one but anyways right i'm going to pause the video here and come back after about six minutes when these all machines are up and running all right, so vagrant up command completed. What I'm going to do now is let's do a vagrant status just to confirm that all the VMs are running. Yeah, it is indeed. Okay, so make directory dot cube under my home directory, and uh, yeah, I need to copy the cube config file. So let's do SCP root at one seven two sixteen sixteen hundred, which is the IP address of kmaster VM. And I'm going to copy etc kubernetesadmin.conf file to dot cube directory under my home directory under the name config. And the password is cube admin. Cool. Okay, so now if I do kubectl cluster info, so the API server seems to be responding. kubectl get nodes. Yep. So we have three node cluster with one control plane, and all are version 1.24, so that's fine. If I do a kubectl cube system get all so you can see calico etcd core dns api server controller manager so everything seems to be running fine i don't see any problem at all let me also quickly create an nginx deployment kubectl get all okay pod nginx pod is getting created container creating container creating Okay, so I'm just doing a very basic test here and the Nginx pod is now running. So all I've done is just updated the Kubernetes version from 1.22 to 1.24. I skipped version 1.23. Uh, I didn't have time to do the video about 1.23, but uh, now I'm using 1.24. And I've switched the underlying operating system from Ubuntu 20.04 to Ubuntu 22.04. So those are the only two changes. And so far I've not done a whole lot of testing so i'm going to rely on you guys to tell me if something is broken okay so all i've done is just updated these two um settings uh, i mean the operating system and the kubernetes cluster version uh, sp uh spun up the cluster i've tried spinning up the cluster multiple times it's all working fine uh, calico networking is working fine i can create the deployment expose it as a service and things like that i've done all the basic testing by upgrading these versions so i hope everything should be okay but if you guys get any problems or any issues using these latest version uh, by the way all of you using my uh, kubernetes repository please pull the latest so you can use kubernetes 1.24 on ubuntu 2204 okay all right let's expose this service kubernetes sorry kubectl expose deploy nginx um, as type node port and uh, this is just for a quick testing of uh, node port service so just to make sure that the calico network in the kubectl proxy and everything is working fine right so exposing on port 80 kubectl get service okay so we have the nginx service and the port is 30565 okay so just to do a quick network testing i'm gonna connect because this is a node port service you can connect to any of the nodes in your cluster and uh, uh, hit this node port ip and you should be able to get to the nginx application okay let's quickly check that links 172.16.16.100.30565 okay so you can see the welcome to nginx page that's good and i'm also going to do the same thing on 101 which is k worker 1 yep working fine and k worker 2 okay so you see welcome to nginx point kubectl get pods just to see where exactly the pod is actually running 
So as you can see, the pod is actually running on KWorker too, but the Kubernetes networking is working fine. The Calico uh, add-on is working fine. So you were able to, we were able to get to the application running on KWorker two from KMaster, KWorker one, and so on. So that's a very quick testing that we can do to verify that the networking is all okay. All right, so we've done a quick testing. Now I'm going to do again the same thing using libvirt, all right? So I'm in my Vagrant provisioning directory. I'm going to do Vagrant destroy. So that will delete, destroy all my VirtualBox VMs. And there's one other step that I need to do before I can bring up the machines in libvirt using the same Vagrant file, okay? So I'll also remove the kube directory and I make the directory again. Just clear the Kubernetes config file. And let me also clear my um, non-host keys. That's fine. And one other thing I got to do is Vbox manage. When I, do, when I created virtual machines, it, uh, the virtual box will have created uh, some uh, virtual networks because I'm using the same network 172.16.16.0 slash 24 network with libvirt as well there will be some problems so I need to delete those virtual networks created on my host system uh, by VirtualBox so that's a quick command to remove that so if I just run this one VirtualBox list host only interfaces you can see so that's the network, VBOX net zero network that VirtualBox created on my system. I can also do IP address show and you can see VBOX net zero, 172.16.16.1. So that's the network VirtualBox has created. So I need to delete this network manually before I can ask libvirt, KVM libvirt to again use the same network because it will also create a virtual network so it shouldn't conflict or clash. So it's better to remove it ourselves. Vbox manage and I'm actually getting the uh, network name which is Vbox net zero and I'm removing that okay that's done so all I have to do now is bring up the vagrant environment using provider libvirt so vagrant up minus minus provider libvirt because VirtualBox is the default if you just do vagrant up in my environment it will bring the cluster in VirtualBox environment and but if you want to specifically use libvirt as I do, you have to provide this option minus minus provider libvirt. Again, it's going to take about five minutes, um, but a lot quicker than the virtual box. And let me pause the video and come back when all the machines are up and running. Okay, so we're going to up command completed. Let me run virsh list. So yep, we have three virtual machines running in libvirt. That's fine. And we've created the .cube directory. So let's just uh, copy the Kubernetes admin.com file to .cube directory. Okay, and the password is cube admin. Right, and I'm also going to show you uh, by logging into one of the machines, 172.16.16.100 kmaster cube admin. So that's the Ubuntu machine if I do LSP just to show you guys that I'm actually using Ubuntu 2204. Um, yep, it's 2204, that's fine. Um, I've copied the Kubernetes admin.com file, so I should be able to run kubectl commands. Yep, I can, so that's the response from the API server. kubectl get notes, version 1.24.0. kubectl kube system, get all, yep, all of them running, no restarts. So I don't see any problems at all. Let's do the same testing here as well. kubectl create deploy nginx kubectl get all container is getting created kubectl get all. Okay, container is running. Let's expose this as a node port service. Okay, kubectl get service. 31550. Okay. Right, so 31.550, that's the node port IP. Let's start with KWorker 2. Welcome to the next page, working fine. 101, KWorker 1. Again, working fine. 100, which is KMaster. And again, working fine. Cool. 
Okay, vagrant destroy minus F. That's gone. RM minus RF dot cube, just clearing stuff out. Okay, so uh, to me it's all working good, the changes that I have made, but uh, I'm going to rely on you all guys to tell me if there's any problem with this and maybe if I need to look anything further um, in this configuration. But for now it looks good to me, so I'm going to merge this pull request, squash and merge. Confirm squash and merge. Okay, uh, pull request successfully merged and closed. I'm going to delete this branch. Right, so if I go to Kubernetes, um, switch to Ubuntu 13 seconds ago. So yes, by the time you watch this video, it's already merged. So you just need to uh, git pull from my Kubernetes repository and you are good to use Kubernetes 1.24 on Ubuntu 2204. Right, so that's it for this video. I will see you all in another video. Until then, keep learning and keep on learning. Bye-bye.